In our previous video, Recording Bass Guitar Part 1, we covered the basics of microphone selection and placement for bass guitar cabinets. In this second video, we are going to use three new microphones. The Audix D6 is a workhorse microphone designed for kick drum and bass cabinets. It is a cardioid mic, and as such, it has proximity effect, boosting low frequencies as it gets closer to the sound source. At a distance of one inch from the grill, we felt that the D6 had a rich and extended low frequency response, so we left it there. Our second microphone is the Electro Voice RE20 a mic used in recording studios, broadcast studios, and on stages the world over for all kinds of applications. Introduced in the mid-60s, this microphone has EV's variable D technology to counteract proximity effect. So even though it is a cardioid mic, we should not hear very much change in low frequency response as we change the distance from the grill. While the low end didn't change much as we changed the distance, the overall sound got a little too harsh when we got up close. The best balance of low end and mid range was at 5 inches. The recently introduced EV RE320 is not a replacement for the RE20. Like the RE20, it has variable D technology to counteract proximity effect, but unlike the RE20, it has a pronounced presence peak, and the bass rolls off at a higher frequency. We also like the distance of 5 inches with the RE320. Let's quickly compare the sound of these two microphones. So far we've listened to three microphones. Each one gave great results in its own way. The Audix D6 gave us the richest low end, the EV RE20 was warm with an even balance between lows and highs, and the EV RE320 gave us the most forward sound. In our next video, Recording Bass Guitar Part 3, we'll introduce Direct Input Boxes, or DIs. We'll also show you how to time-align your tracks.